Okay, hi, it's Ian Meager here at the uh, ID Tech X Show 2018 in Santa Clara. I'm at the Nordic Pavilion here with uh, Stefan Nordlinger from DP Patterning. Stefan, good to meet you. Would you like to take a few minutes to talk to us about your company and about the technologies that you're showing here today? Absolutely. Yeah. So, would you like me to show you? Yes, please, yeah. yeah so, so, this is actually a spin out from the Swedish Research Institute. Okay. Yeah. And we uh, develop a method to be able to manufacture flexible uh, f printer uh, circuit boards, flexible okay. printer circuit boards, but without any chemicals. Okay. So, it makes it extremely low cost and environmental friendly. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. And um, we also. By doing this, we make it possible for uh, subcontractors that are like mounting house to be able to incorporate the PCB manufacturing in-house. Okay. Instead of buying it from abroad, uh, they can do the, their own manufacturing of uh, circuit boards and directly move it to the next machine to do the ship attachments. Okay. And, and what applications do you see this as having the most impact in or the most exciting impact in? Yeah, the, the, our first market was RFID. Okay. Yeah, and it's a perfect match. You can see some of our... Yeah. RFID example antennas here, and this is a, just a mock-up of mm -hmm. showing how the technology works. Uh, and uh, it's a very simple process. Uh, you see here it's just a cutting wheel and uh, like a flexo wheel uh, yeah. that pushes out the pattern and the cutter cuts away the top surface. And by doing this you have a process uh, of the manufacturing process in one single step. Okay. Remarkably simple. But yeah, yeah. So that, that's how we started with our RFID antennas, yeah. and it's uh, uh, astonishing how accurate it is. Now we have a, a gap size here of uh, 100 micron plus minus 10, with a really good uh, quality, uh, high yield. So, so what uh, what sort of challenges remain for you in the future as you look toward to bringing this to market and scaling up? Yeah, out? now it's more in, into reaching out to new markets. Yeah. We have been, uh, t last two years, we've been working with automotive market, very, very good success. The biggest uh, benefit for them with this um, process is that they can keep IP in-house mm -hmm. during the long, quite long assessment period for new pro um, products. Okay. Uh, and also, uh, good upside is that it's very low cost for them. Yeah. 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 Uh, and how do you see the market evolving as well over the next few years? Uh, now it's really a good uh, phase for us. We're having two good markets uh, up and running, and now we're trying to reach out for uh, LED markets okay. for uh, low cost uh, circuit boards, Excellent. replacing uh, rigid circuit boards uh, for LED applications. Excellent. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so this is a typical RFID product. How it comes out from one of our uh, production mach machines. Yeah. Yeah. And after this uh, first manufacturing step of the antenna, they just add the chip. Okay. And uh, it's mounted by ACP, direct uh, attached to this yes. surface. So there is no need for doing anything between our machine and the pick and place machine. No cleaning, no treatment. Okay. You just feed the roll into the next machine. And, and here you see a, a picture of uh, how machine can look like when it's for automotive use. So it's uh, quite uh, nice encapsulated, so you can have it in a, a grey room area. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks quite mobile as well. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a fairly big size. This one is uh, maybe five meters long. Okay. Uh, but then you have a, a full inspection of uh, of the products, uh, vision system and uh, measurement systems for uh, ensuring that they have a good quality. Excellent. And this is in Sweden now. No, this is in Germany. In Germany. Yeah. Okay. So at the, at the customer site, okay. yes, yes. Can you tell us a bit about that project, or is it? Is it uh, no, I can just say that it's in automotive. Uh, automotive industry in Germany, and they have some. Okay. Uh, and um, and this is our first uh, uh, delivery to the automotive market was during this summer, so it just started up this uh, machine. Yeah. And uh, finally, how, how have you found your time here at the ID Tech X show? Yeah, I think it was uh, very nice. Uh, a lot of people yesterday, a little yeah. bit less today. <laughs> people have seen most of it, I guess, but it's a very good quality of the visitors, I think. Excellent. Yeah. And a good opportunity to come from the company. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah Excellent. Great. Well, yeah. Thanks for your time. What are you showing on these pictures? Uh, this is just uh, fields of application. Uh, as I said, this is uh, a visualization of how the circuit board could look like in behind 
<clears throat> so this is for automotive, also RFID, uh, uh, IT applications, mm -hmm. and uh, this should visualize the LED markets. And how far are you from doing this? Uh, we can do this, that today. So it's more like uh, having the uh, LED manufacturer to adapt the flex foils. Today, the LED is mainly made on uh, rigid boards out of uh, cost uh, reasons because uh, flexible foils has been more expensive in the past. But with this technology, you cut the cost so much so you could start to apply this even to flex foils or even to the lightning. Excellent. Well, Stefan, thanks for your time. Yeah, really thank appreciate you. it. And yeah. I hope you enjoy thank the rest you. of the show. Thank you very much. Okay.